Good morning, good morning. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Facebook says I'm live and then it says, sort of says it lives and then I'm not live. And so I think I'm live now, I'm here. <laughs> I am here, how are you today? Happy Friday to you. Oh, boy, oh boy, we made it another week. Is that awesome or what? But it is now almost the middle of March and who expected that? We are two and a half months into 2021 and it is not too late, not too late to start taking action on your goals that you had for this year. So <clears throat> welcome, I am Sherry Lee Wojcik, the founder of the Facebook, Pro uh, Facebook Profit Formula and the Facebook Business Builders Club. And this is day five of 20 lives in 26 days. I will not be here Saturdays and Sundays, but I will be here Monday to Friday for the next four weeks and maybe beyond. We'll see how this goes. I'm open to it. So this week we've had a tremendous week. We have talked about what does Facebook want from you as a business page owner. So, so, so important that we understand that. This is a free platform. So, you know, we might as well, we better play nice with the kid who owns the ball in the sandbox. And that's pretty much what we're doing here. So that's Facebook. We need to know what Facebook wants from us. We also need to know what our prospects want from us. Why are they on Facebook? What are they doing when they're on Facebook? And what do they want from us? while they're on Facebook in order to start building that relationship with them. Because most of them are strangers. And so we can't just walk up to them with a hi, bye for me kind of post. We need to start the relationship and we need to lead that relationship because why would they even bother? They don't know us from Adam. Then we talked about the algorithm. Um, and we talked about how that works and how you can play it a little bit. And today, oh, and yesterday we talked about how you can get to know your ideal prospect better and know who your dream prospects are so that you can connect with them on a more fulfilling basis. Now, today we're going to start talking about your content. And... This is one of those things that I think a lot of people really struggle with is the fact that they need to create so many, so much content. And depending on how many social channels you're on, it can get super overwhelming. But even posting every day on Facebook can be overwhelming for some people. If you're posting on your page and in your group and on your profile, it can all really add up to a lot of content. I'm focusing specifically on the content that we're posting on our Facebook business pages because that is the place that we get our first hello and we get to start our relationships with as many possible prospects as we can find on Facebook. Our profile is really nice, but you're really not supposed to be doing business on your profile and you have a limit to only 5,000 friends, right? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not willing to limit my business to only 5,000 prospects in my business. That's a ton of prospects, but why would I limit it when I'm on a platform with 3 billion people on it, right? So our Facebook business page is that place where we get to connect with people, where they get their first glance at us. They get to see us for the first time. They get to get curious about who we are. We get to learn about them. We start that relationship and that connection with people on our Facebook business page. And then we can segment them and move them into other areas. And we're gonna talk about that farther in this series. So <clears throat> while I'm having a sip of tea, please say hi, let me know who's here and let me know where in the world you're joining me from. And if you're drinking tea or whatever you are drinking today, let me know. I love connecting with you and I wanna hear who you are and what your business is and where you are in the world, okay? So our Facebook business page is a uh, is the platform, is the place where we're able to connect with as many possible prospects as we can. And there's plenty of ways to grow your Facebook page. We're not talking about that today. What we're talking about is making sure that the content we're creating, <coughs> excuse me, is giving Facebook what it wants, is giving the reader what it wants, is positioning us as an expert and an authority, and is allowing us to build those relationships with people 
that the start of those relationships so that we do have people that are interested in going into our email list or going into our Facebook group or, you know, getting onto a strategy session or a call with us. It's so important that <clears throat> we always make sure we um, are focusing on using our Facebook business page as a place to collect and gather the people that are prospects for us and then sort them out into other areas where we can deepen the relationship and the conversation with them. So our content, if it's going to give Facebook what it wants, it needs to be posted daily. It needs to be focused on the reader, not on us. It needs to be focused on giving Facebook what it wants, which is helping the people who are members of Facebook stay on Facebook for longer and have more fun. So Facebook's looking for us to post our content regularly, meaning daily, and that that content is helping them keep people having fun and being distracted on Facebook so they stay on Facebook for longer. So that's the majority of our content's job really is to do that. Now I hear a bunch of you are saying, but wait a minute, I'm here to do business. Why, how can I do business if I don't tell people what I do? If I don't tell people what I have on sale, if I don't tell people about this offer that I have, how do I do business? Well, I'm not saying you never do that. You absolutely do. But I want you to also realize that you have to spend the majority of your time getting Facebook to play nicely with you and show your content to more people and giving you the exposure that you want and putting your posts in the newsfeed of people that are real prospects for you. And how does Facebook do that? We talked about that yesterday based on the interaction that you've gotten on previous posts. So if you haven't posted for a week, your next post has got to do some double duty in order to be seen by anybody. If you had posts and they got lots of likes, comments, and shares, then your next post is going to get more reach organically because you've built up the engagement previously. So everything on Facebook runs on a seven day cycle. So if you are focused on making sure you're keeping your engagement high, your reach high, your interaction high for seven days, then you want to be doing a promotional post after you have helped Facebook do what it wants to do, after you've given Facebook what it wants to do, after you've given your prospects, what they want while they're on Facebook. Then if you do something promotional, you've got more people who are interested, more people who are curious about you and what you do, more people who are just going to see your posts. So the key here is your posts should not always be about you. 80% of the time, I want you to be doing posts that are about the reader, the person who's reading the post so that they can interact, so that they can like, comment, or share. Those are the three engagement actions that Facebook is watching and monitoring. And we wanna make sure that we are giving people an easy reason to take those actions. The more of those actions we can get on these posts, the more we'll get to know the people who are commenting on our posts, the more Facebook will see that our posts are interesting and engaging and distracting the more we're keeping people on Facebook, our next post, so the 20% of the time when we do something promotionally, promotional or, or informational or more about us, then we will have people interested. So an analogy I like to use is when you go to a networking event and maybe it's a new networking event back in the day when we could go to networking events. So it's a new networking event that you've gone to and you don't know anybody in the room and you walk into the room. If you walked up to, if you just had a mitt full of cards and you walked up to a room, up to every individual person in the room and said, hi, I'm Sherry Lee and I offer Facebook marketing services. Here's my card. We should talk. You should hire me. Here's my card. You should hire me. Here's my card. You should hire me. And if that's all you did in the room, how long do you think before people in the room would start scattering from you? Because all you're doing is promoting yourself and talking about yourself and focused on your needs. And if you are only, I mean, we all have needs, but if all you're focused on is your needs, you're going to struggle to get people to hire you or to buy from you. Now, if you're focusing on the needs of the people in the room, in this case, the room is Facebook. If you're gonna focus on the needs of the people in the room, 
you will have people far more interested in you. So an opposite example of that is if you went into a networking event and you walked up to somebody and introduced yourself and said hi and asked them about them. I mean, that's basic good networking procedures. How are you doing? You know, how was your Christmas? How was your winter? Tell me what you do. What inspired you to start doing that? How long have you done that? What's your favorite thing about doing that? And you got to know that person. Then, as you got to know that person, naturally, as part of the human instinct, reciprocity starts coming out and they start getting curious about you. And so they start asking you about you and about what you do. And now we're building a relationship with that person and not just something that's transactional, not just I'm posting in order to make sales or to get strategy sessions or to grow my email list. It's about posting to get to know people. So 80% of the time we're creating content that is intended to get people to like, comment and share to tell us something about themselves. And then 20% of the time, we're able to talk about ourselves, our business, what we do, and they will be more interested in us because we have been interested in them first. My motto is always give before you get. So give to the other people before you ask them to give back to you. Now, the 80% of the time when we're taught learning about them, we don't want to try and go too deep either, right? Remember like how relationships work. When you first meet somebody, if you go on a first date with somebody, you don't necessarily walk into that first date and try to drive them into very deep subjects right away, first time out of the gate. I mean, sometimes it happens. Sometimes that connection's there, but for the most part, you don't try to drive your first conversations on a first date over coffee to those very, very deep, personal, intimate conversations where they're bearing their soul to you. So while you may find some people will bear their soul to you on your Facebook business page, it's better to try not to get there right away, to not be too focused on that. Now, let me give you an example of how this has worked in motion, okay? My client here in British Columbia, where I live, um, has an autism support services company. So he has 14 offices throughout the province. He's got a very successful business. He has been offering services for families with kids who have autism for years now. And he came to me and said, my Facebook page is dead, dormant. Nobody's doing anything with it. There's no interaction. We've got about 1,100 people liking it, but nothing's happening. In the fall, this, this was March when he first came to us. In the fall, I have an offer for some new community classrooms that I really want to bring in kids, you know, 10 to 12 and under into those classrooms as an alternate schooling feature for kids with autism. How can you help me? So we started by engaging his community that already existed. He already had 1,100 people on his page. So we started by focusing on our content, focusing on content that was in, in, in created to entice interaction from people. And at first it was very slow. It was very quiet. It took people time. It took Facebook time to see, oh, they're going to post every day again. Huh, that's nice change. They've only been posting once a week before. Oh, they're posting content that's that's in, engaging content. Okay, also a change because they only ever posted about themselves before. Okay, so it took Facebook a little while to see what we were doing and that we were serious and then they started feeding it out into more news feeds. We had to take the lead and get the ball rolling. We had to ask some people. We had to reach out to people and say, hey, you know, some clients, some some people who are already members of their community. Would you mind commenting on this so that we could get the ball rolling? Sometimes you have to give it a little nudge to get started. And so we started that. Now, at one point, you know, a few weeks into this, we asked the question, how long have you been a parent? And initially we didn't think we were going to get an awful lot of market research data from this question, but the whole intent was, okay, we, we are a company for people who 
our parents. Let's just take uh, the temperature of everybody who likes this page or as many people as we can and find out who we're dealing with here. So very, very quickly, we started getting comments because it was a question. It was so simple. How long have you been a parent? I'm not asking you for any personal details. I'm not asking for any information that's very, you know, very deep. It's very easy for them to answer this question so they can type their answer and move on, scroll on to the next thing. But this thing took off. And within six hours, we had like 50 comments on this of people and they were just typing the number of years that they had been the parents. And he reached out to me and said, this is crazy. So much engagement. It's amazing. I love it. Fabulous. So this continued on and that post was very popular. Uh, we ended up putting a little bit of ad to it just to supercharge it. But here's the thing that came out of it that was unexpected. We got a ton of engagement. We, got, we, we discovered that people really taught, wanted to talk about their parenting journey. We discovered these people were just waiting for something that they could respond to that was interesting to them, that was about them, that wasn't just some anonymous business promoting to them that they'd never heard of before. That was a business that was interested in them. They were blown away. They were surprised. They were responsive. But what we also discovered was in those answers, the majority of the people that were on liking our page did not have kids under 12 or 10. Most of them were saying 35 years, 40 years, 28 years, 30 years. Well, if they've been a parent for 40 years and their oldest is 40, their youngest is likely not under 12. We could extrapolate from that, that while we had a lot of parents on the page, we didn't have a, as many parents of young kids as we would like. So we switched up our content. We had, we realized we had to change up our content and get it in front of those people who had the kids of the right age for what we had coming down the road. You see how powerful that is? Like if this is not giving you an aha, I don't know what will. This shows you that content is such an important piece. We can ask these light questions and if you're looking at them and dismissing them and going, oh, it's just a, a light question that's for, for no purpose. It's got no value. You're missing the point here. You can find the value in that. You can learn things about your community. Remember how we talked about yesterday? If you haven't watched yesterday's video about understanding your dream client, dream prospects, there's an entire live on that here on the page video that you can watch on my page. So have a quick sip, sorry. This is such an important piece because it does so many things. It gets Facebook to like you and put your posts out to more people so more people see you. Number one thing people complain about is I don't get enough reach on my posts. Well, if you're posting the right kind of content, you will get more reach. That's all there is to it. When it's the right kind of content, you will get more people to engage with your content. And when they're engaging, you can learn things about them. And they can learn that you care about them, that you are not just here for the transaction. You're here to build relationships, which is what Facebook wants you to be doing too. So now you're, you're covering a whole bunch of things with that. And you can learn about the people that are in your community and then that can help you adjust how to change your content moving forward. Now, if you are not using your content as a tool like this to help you learn about your prospects, get in Facebook's favor and grow your business, then you're missing an opportunity. It is not just there as fluff to get engagement for no reason. That engagement has a purpose. That engagement has a reason. It's okay to ask, what's your favorite coffee beans, even if you don't sell coffee? If it builds rapport and connection with somebody. Okay? So this is so, so, so important. And then at the 20% point, then after you've done the 80% and you've got the engagement, you've gotten the interaction, you've gotten people responding to you and connecting with you, then 
you can go into the 20%. So this is basically, Elsa, hi, nice to see you, thank you. I'm glad this is resonating with you. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? So 80%, four posts out of every five are about the reader, about your prospect, about what they want, about who they are, about you learning about them. And then one out of every five posts is about you, is talking about a client testimonial, is uh, doing something promotional, is doing a Facebook Live on your business page, is showing a behind the scenes, is telling people about a sale that you have on. Now, all of a sudden, you have people who will actually see that post because you've spent time caring about them first. Okay? You have Facebook showing that business promotionally post to more people. Promotionally. Is that a word? <laughs> Promotional post to more people. And this, this is just the snowball that starts right now if you're going to step into ads your promotional post is the place to put some of that ad budget in order to supercharge those results and reach more people all right this changes everything so your promotional post that's when you get to share you know celebrating this huge result that this my client has had for example my client, Sandra, who's in the Facebook Business Builders Club, she came to me in November of last year and she was struggling to find the right people, to get the right people to attend her events, her programs, her courses. She was selling a whole bunch of different things. They were all over the place. There was a lot of things going on. She had very fractured attention, very... Um, you know, unfocused in her direction. She wasn't sure how she was using all the pieces of Facebook. In the Business Builders Club, you know, we get together, they get all the training, we get, they get group coaching, they get private coaching. It's a really comprehensive program. And over a couple of months, three months, we really worked on getting clear on what her offer is, what she wanted to focus on, which was a three-day event, which was leading into offering a private coaching sessions with her. And she just really focused in on growing her community, focusing on her Facebook business page, getting her relationships building, building with people there, getting to know people. She had a tremendous three-day event that she held and she ended up in one week generating more revenue in that week than she had generated all of 2020. She is still on this high. She's already set her second day, dates for her next three-day event in May. And she's already selling tickets from it because the momentum is going. And she said, I have so much freedom. I'm not scrambling to create everything brand new again. I am editing what I did. I'm reviewing what I did. I am making changes to what I did so that I can, I, I can just edit what I already have in place. It's all there. And now I'm just going to repeat because that was successful, but it was successful because she wasn't fractured. It was successful because she got clear on who it was she was speaking to. She understood what Facebook wanted from her. She understood what her prospects wanted from her. She understood, um, how to connect with people and build relationships and how to use this platform. And she created an amazing result for herself and now is set to do it again. And we're so excited to see what she's going to have happen from that next one. Can't wait to support her through it. So this is just a sample of what's possible when you get clarity and focus. Now, this whole content thing is a big piece and I know it can be overwhelming for people to create the pieces of content that they need. So I've put together my 30 day content plan that I would like to share with you. So this content plan gives you for 30 days, post this, post this, post this, post this, tells you what to post. It gives you examples. It gives you the content that you need so that you can start getting amazing engagement on your Facebook business page. So if you would love the 30 day content plan, just comment with the number 30 and I will get in touch with you and get that content plan to you. All right. Okay. So 
this has been such a tremendous week. I have loved connecting with you. I've gone live five days this week. I've got 15 more to go. So I will be back on Monday. Let me check what time on Monday. I don't know offhand. Monday. I don't even know what the date is. Today is the 12th. All right. This is the way I am, you guys. Um, you know, I just really kind of am real all the time, all all the places. This is just who I am. But we get the work done. I can be goofy. I can be silly. I am forgetful. I don't remember things off the top of my head all the time. I have to have a lot of notes. Uh, but you know what? We get the work done. We bring res amazing results for our clients. I have had amazing growth in my business and it doesn't matter. When you let the world see you, you attract more people to you. So I'll be back here next week, Monday the 15th at 1 p.m. PST. All right. So every day next week, I think I'll do a post. I'll share it that I'm going to be live every day next week again for you, teaching you more content around how to grow your community so you can sell out your programs, your memberships using Facebook as your marketing tool. All right. Have an awesome weekend. Thank you, Elsa. I will reach out to you and get you that information for the 30 day content plan. Be like Elsa, claim your 30 day content plan. Just type the words 30 in the comments and I will get that to you. Thank you for being here with me this week. Mark your calendars for Monday at 1 p.m. PST and I will see you on Facebook. Have a great weekend, everyone.